A better diet and getting more exercise are usually the top resolutions for a new year. And for those with a lot of weight to lose and the health problems that come with it, medical intervention is changing their lives. Meg Ferris has more on their journeys in tonight's Weight Loss Wednesday. One by one, they got up in front of an understanding audience with emotional testimonies. They spoke of their highest weight, the embarrassment, the severe physical limitations, their battle with medical insurance companies, and their fear of dying young. There were tears and there were cheers. I've lost 205 pounds since then. Uh, my life has completely changed. Now I'm in a, in a happy relationship. We've bought a house together. I've got, uh, I've certified scuba diver. A few dozen people from teens to seniors who know the pain of being obese celebrated their success at a reunion with their bariatric surgeons at West Jefferson Medical Center. They credit surgery with saving their lives and getting them off the diet roller coaster. I wanted to live longer. You know, I didn't want to be on medicine for the rest of my life. You know, I have two kids. I want to grow up. I want to see grow up. Sergeant Dal Person has gone from 405 pounds to 265 and is working to lose 30 more. He shed tears, explaining how his father will not know of his success because of limitations from a recent stroke. This 20-year-old lost 205 pounds. My junior year of high school, I got so big, I was kind of embarrassed to be around people, so I actually got homeschooled for a year in high school. Repeatedly, they said they'd do it all over again for health, not cosmetics. I was scared that my children were going to have to be worried about me dying. Holly Guillory used to be in a size 30 pants. Her husband Silas used to be on two heart medications. Antoinette Perilot is down 150 pounds. I wanted to be healthy. I wanted to lose weight. I wanted to be healthy. Yanetsi Capote no longer has severe sleep apnea. The sleeve is a tool. Mm -hmm. It doesn't do it for you. It helps you. And while the gastric sleeve may be a tool, making the stomach smaller so it can't hold as much food, there is emerging science that could mean it's doing a lot more for this very complicated genetic multi-organ metabolic condition first by changing the powerful hunger hormone. This is the first operation that we've had ever that removes the ghrelin production cells. So this is a powerful appetite stimulant. The ghrelin goes to your brain, it tells you when you're hungry, and you know how easy is it to diet when you're not hungry. And second, by possibly lowering your metabolic set point, making it easier for your body to get to your target weight. And studies show bariatric surgery is better than diet and exercise for keeping weight off long term and treating serious conditions like diabetes, high cholesterol, and high blood pressure. For Weight Loss Wednesday, I'm Meg Ferris. And studies show only 5 to 10 percent of people on medically supervised diet and exercise programs actually keep the weight off long term.